I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on numbers. Here is a very interesting topic which we'll talk about in this particular video. We'll look into how we can find infinite rational numbers between two fractions. Well, for some of you, rational numbers could be a new term, but we'll explain this and then it'll be very simple. Uh, let me begin with natural numbers, right? You know what are natural numbers? When we say natural numbers, we are talking about numbers like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, correct? Now, after that, we have something called whole numbers, and then we have integers, right? So, then we have other kinds of numbers, which are whole numbers, And then we also have integers. And then we have rational numbers. Now whole numbers include 0, integers include plus and minus and also 0, and the rational numbers are written as ratio of two numbers, let's say p over q. Okay, so we'll limit ourselves to uh, up to rational numbers in this particular video since I have used the word rational number. So most of our students are familiar with fractions, correct? Okay, so fractions are also rational numbers, right? So uh, let's treat it like this and therefore I have the word here we are using the word fractions along with rational numbers. Does it make sense to you? So rational numbers becomes very complicated at times to understand. So fractions is something which we are all aware of, correct? So let's uh, talk in very common terms and we'll keep rational numbers as fractions uh, to work out the example. So first statement here, which you find is that there are infinite rational numbers between any two numbers. Well. Uh, any two numbers could be, let us say, if I take a number 4 and 5, then in between 4 and 5, we have infinite rational numbers. That's what we're trying to say. Is that true? Well, most of you know this is true, and the answer is yes. And uh, if you want to write, you can definitely write many numbers between them. So you can actually pause the video, write these numbers, which could be there between 4 and 5. Well, between 4 and 5, I could write uh, 4.5, I could write 4.6, right? I can write 4.1, well, I could also write 4.15, you get an idea, right? So accordingly, I can actually go on and on, and here I could add more numbers, uh, between 4.5 and 4.6 as 4.55, you get the idea. So there are definitely infinite numbers between any two numbers. Now using decimals, it is kind of simpler, right? You can just keep on adding numbers, very simple. How do you do the same exercise when we are talking about fractions? Now that becomes very tricky. Now we do realize that there are infinite rational numbers between any two numbers. Now the question for you is, can you write 10 fractions between 9 over 11 and 10 over 11? Well, that's the question for you. We know there are so many infinite, just pick 10 of them. That's the question for you. How will you do it? How will you do it? Okay. So here is a solution for this. So let's begin with these two numbers. We have one number which is 9 over 11 and we have the other number. Let me keep it far away so that we could insert 10 numbers in between. Now when we talk about rational numbers, these numbers are not decimal numbers. They are natural numbers, right? So we cannot put 4.5 on the top or 9.5 on the top and do that. We can't do this, okay? We have to do something which has the natural numbers on the top. How do we do that? Well, one way is that what I could do is that I could multiply both by 10, right? I could multiply both by 10. 
So then what do I get? I get equivalent fractions, right? Okay, so what fractions do I get now? Well, now I get 90 over 110 and here I get 100 over 110. Wow. Now these are equivalent, right? So in between now, I can easily place 10 numbers, correct? If not 10, at least 9, correct? <laughs> right? 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. Right? So I'm going to place these numbers, right? So from here to there, I'm going to place numbers like 91 over 110, 92 over 110, 93 over 110, and so on till 98 over 110 and 99 over 110. So what have I done? I have nine numbers for you. Why nine? I wanted 10, right? So now the question for you is, is, you know what, find the 10th number. Find the 10th number. Okay, so now I have shown you the trick, right? So you can always find the 10th number. So I like you to find the 10th number and post it in the comments. Let's see who gets it first. Hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.